Yo nerds, happy homebrew Wednesday. My name is Josh, this is my first homebrew Wednesday video, it seems like ever. So if I'm going to make this triumphant return to the internets, I might as well do it with a label-less bottle. Because, why not? Uh, what's in this label-less bottle, you might ask? Good question. You ask good questions. This is an under-the-table brewing beer. This is Nate's Not Moon Man, which was a, a beer I brewed, a recipe I concocted, I don't know, a year ago or so, maybe? And Nate asked for it a long time ago, kicked it around, kicked it around, finally threw down and uh, brewed this bad boy, so... I'm going to drink it, and then we're going to talk about things, and then I'm probably not going to make another video for like a month, because that seems to be the way things are working right now. Um, but anyway, you can see, typical Nate Pico beer, it looks the part, for sure. And if we're shooting a Moon Man, um, oh geez, easy there, Tiger. Uh, if we're shooting a Moon Man... I feel like I am an authority on the subject. Um, I think I drink more Moon Man than pretty much anybody I know. So right away in the nose, this is really close. It's not perfect, but it's really close. Which is kind of what I got out of my beer too. That was just a basically a clone of Moon Man that I made up in my head and just kind of shot in the general direction and came out with a really damn good beer. This is really close, but it's a little more melony, which I don't think is a bad thing. <sighs> Damn, it smells good. I like the, the aroma in this beer a lot. Um, let's see how I like the taste of it. Damn, that's good. This is a really good beer. Uh, it's not exactly Moon Man, but I don't think anybody thought it was. Hence the name, not Moon Man. Um, I don't know anything about it, specs-wise. Oh boy. Hold on. So, if, if we're gonna be, if we're, if we're gonna pull back the real curtain right now, I'm, I'm propping my phone up with an empty bottle of Mike's Hard Light Lemonade. <laughs> Because that's the way this works. So as long as it doesn't have to vibrate again and I don't get any text or any, uh, god damn it. Basically what I'm asking is the round table needs to shut the hell up for a minute. Uh, because you're making my phone vibrate and that makes the mic's hard lemonade bottle move and then the camera moves. And then everything gets all out of fucking whack. So just, would you guys just cool it for a minute? Mm. Anyway, that's a damn tasty beer, Nate. I like it a lot. Um, so, I have not made a video. I have not been around. I have not watched a lot of videos. I've been busy because my retirement is over. Um, and I have a job. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, you read that however you see fit. Um, but I'm back to the commuting life. My life working in the basement, brewing beer while I work, is over. Um... I'm not fully over that yet. I'm still really sad inside about that whole deal. But luckily I have scraped together enough time to uh, to brew a beer, brew some beers, some beers. Um, but not since I, not in the last two weeks. I've had this job two weeks now. They haven't fired me yet. I haven't quit yet. So there's a lot of bonuses there. Um, This is good. The IBUs are just like a, a tick high and there's a melony hop that needs to switch for a more tropically citrusy hop and then we're getting awful damn close. The backbone of this beer, the same as when I brewed, I think is really, really close to what Moon Man is. Um, which I know for most of you guys is probably like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about because you can only get Moon Man in the great state of Wisconsin, which 
where this guy lives. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, beers. So I brewed some beers. Um, I have a Pilsner that is sitting in a carboy that I think I accidentally bretted with Lou's Brett because in the midst of my retirement and trying to get the honeydew list done and trying to find a job, I'm pretty sure I racked two beers in the same day. I racked uh, a Brett Saison out of a carboy and then probably without properly sanitizing, let's call it anything, I racked uh, this Pilsner out of the kettle into a carboy. Um, pretty sure all of the Brett Saison that went through the auto siphon, some of it hung out, went into the carboy with this Pilsner. So I have a Brett Pilsner, um, kind of accidental, but what are you gonna do? Um, I went to Michigan for 12 days, drove through Michigan. Um, so I set up this Pilsner, I'm like, all right, we're gonna just let her ferment the whole time. It was all nice. Krausen when I left, come back to Wicked Pellicle, um, like a white kind of crusty pellicle. And I thought, hmm, that's not good. But at least it wasn't like the crazy spider webs that Aaron gets, so that's good. Uh, so I tasted it, and it's got a little Lou Brew Brett Funk to this Pilsner. So I cold crashed it. I thought, well, screw it, fuck it. It tastes good. It's a, just a tiny, tiny bit bready, but uh, I'll cold crash it. So I cold crashed it, and then I realized I don't have anywhere to put it. I don't have any keg space. My kegs are full, basically. Um, and I had one keg that I knew I needed to kill, but I have to get my SJ Pour Beer into that keg. Uh, and I have no bottles, because now that Moon Man's in cans, my supply of bottles is done. Silver lining there. Most, like, the greatest thing ever, and a real bummer at the same time. So, that Brett Pilsner cold crashed for two weeks until this morning when I was like, well, I guess it's got bread in it. We're all in. So I shut the cold crashing down and I just, I'm going to let it ride till I have space for it and see if it, I'll taste it again. If it tastes good, rad. If it doesn't, then we're going to have to sanitize the living shit out of that carboy, but that's fine. Um, SJ Poor Beer. I did throw that in a keg. Um, I know, well, you don't know any of this. I haven't made a video in forever. So, I might, maybe the last video I made, I made a beer called Temporary Retirement, um, which was a, a hoppy IPL that I think is the best hoppy beer I ever made. It was ridiculous. Um, I would love to send some out and share it with you guys, but I drank it all in a fucking hurry. Um, so I killed that keg last weekend, cleaned the keg out this morning, put the SJ Pour beer that's going to be my final beer. I have a few other options that I could send, but... Excuse me. Uh, this last one, I really like it. I think it's really good. I'm not sure if it's going to win just because it's... It's a, it's a taste that I know some people out there are like, well, you know, I don't do those kind of beers. Um, but if that's the case, well, then so be it. Um, but I think it's got some really cool flavors, um, some really familiar flavors, and some, like, a kind of a twist. So, you know, absorb all that, nerds. So, what else? So I kegged that. Uh, I've got my Brett Pilsner. And then I've got a bunch of other beer down there that's, there's a Brett Saison that's just going to sit for three months. Um, I have my Bug Farm sour beer that, I haven't even looked at, except for checking to make sure there's liquid in the airlock uh, since May. Um, and I honestly don't know when I'm going to look at that. I'm just going to let that thing ride. And then when I stumble across a bunch of fruit somewhere that I think would be good in a sour beer, I'm going to pull like three gallons off, brew three new gallons, and just keep that carboy going as a Solera. So, um, other than that, I have a life now, like a real normal person life where you have to get up and like go to work and then drive home from work and there's traffic and it's bullshit man uh why have you guys been doing this all this time everyone should just work in their basement and brew beer all day it's like the perfect life 
I had it for a little bit and then I didn't. But now I have a job that I actually, I think I'm gonna really like. That's gonna pay me way more than I made before. But I can't brew beer while I work, which is a bummer. So I guess the only logical next step is just become a professional brewer, but that's a ways off. So uh, anyway, I think I've rambled enough. This is 10 and a half minutes of bullshit, basically. Mmm, Nate, that's a tasty, tasty beer. Um, I like this one a lot, actually. It's It's got a real melon thing happening, and I don't know if that's maybe part of the, tra you know, the travel that, that brought that out in it, but man, this thing is melony as hell. Like a, like a honeydew kind of melon thing happening. Um, it actually reminds me a lot of a Waiiti and, uh, and Cascade beer I brewed a while ago um, that I really liked and it had a real melony a melony thing going on so um, well played my brother um, yeah other than that I'm out uh, I'm gonna try and get back into the whole video thing and obviously I mean, we're not that far out from from first round SJ4 so that'll that'll force us all back into uh, uploading stuff so That'll be good. Everyone likes it when, you know, nerds are on the internet. So, um, I'm going to kill this before 12 minutes. <sighs> Hunker in your basements, kids. Brew beer. Yeah, do nerds. Oh, wait. Now to hit the stop button, I've got to move the Mike's Hard Lemonade bottle, which means... <sighs> Cheers. Coming soon to a brew craft box near you boys, right there. SJ Poor Championship Beer. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, nerds.